welcome back. Or, if you are new, welcome. Why can't I start a video without clapping? We may never know, honestly. For today's video, I don't know why I haven't done this one sooner, but we're going to do a Madeleine Klein look. This one, specifically. I think we can all agree that this girl, I'm going to put it up, up again <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. This girl is perfection at its finest. Like we all want to be Madeleine Klein, right? Right? It's not just me. I know it's not. So I'm going to attempt to do this look. It's like, she's very natural, isn't she? But I can't tell if that's like a natural look or if it's, well, it's, it's not. It's not. It's a photo shoot. <laughs> But it's like, it's not too much, do you know what I mean? So we're gonna attempt it. Because I would love nothing more than to look like Madeline Klein. Anywho, if you haven't subscribed, buttons below, my face is here. Do you see it? Right there? Okay, great. Just give it a little click. Okay, let's get on to this, shall we? First and foremost, we're gonna hydrate actually because <laughs> I'm quite parched. Now, actually, onto the, onto the makeup. I could put my clippies in. You know, like an essential step. I just scraped my forehead. That really, <laughs> we're a mess already. Already, that better not leave us like a mark. Oh, it has. Get the hair out of the face. We're gonna moisturize. Is this for the body and f is this for the face? Yes. Oh, it's warm. Why is it warm? Oh, I've gone red. We're gonna use tinted moisturizer. Do I? Or do I just go straight in with some foundation? Oh, I don't know. We're gonna go in with some foundation and we're gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F5. I love that I've gone from a tinted moisturizer to full coverage, but I won't put as much on as I normally would. I just, I don't trust myself with this applicator. I just tend to paint. Right, no, we're gonna, we're gonna attempt. Let's see if I can do this, shall we? Put some on this side, that's enough. On this side. I've used too much, once again. I'm gonna blend with a brush. For concealer, I'm gonna use two. They're the same shade, even though this one looks a bit darker, but they're, they're both fair warm. Anyway, this is the 16 hour camo concealer and this is the hydrating version. I'm gonna use the normal one, first of all. I'm gonna use this over my blemishes. Just because this one dries down a lot more than the hydrating one. And I like it to dry down when I'm putting it over blemishes so that we get more coverage. And then I'm gonna go in with the hydrating one and put it in these places. Yeah, it is a different color. Strange, the same shade though. But well, I mean, clearly not, but whatever. I'm gonna use this to highlight as well. And I blend with a brush. Okay, now we're gonna do some cream bronzer. This is the Soleil de Tantranel. A wonderful product, if I do say so myself. Don't know why I said that as if like I'm Chanel. I created this, just an FYI, just so you know. I'm gonna bronze up the face just by here and then take it onto the forehead and onto the temples. Now we're gonna do some cream blush and we're gonna use the Glossier, 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 Glossier. Either one, you get what I mean. This brand, I'm gonna use that one. The Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. Glitter all over my fingertips, sorry. Give me a moment. Anywho. <gasps> I put way too much on my finger. <laughs> oh no. It's fine, we'll, we'll see how we go. Oh, that is way too much. It's really annoying because it's the type of packaging you can't put it back in when you've Got it out. <sighs> gonna keep it here for now. Oh, this is too much. Way too much. Okay, I'm gonna have to clear my fingertips. If I got a wet wipe, I do. I'm gonna take a stipply, stip, stippling, this, a spiky brush. I'm gonna blend it with this. Just in the back of the cheeks. And kind of bring it up onto the temples. Okay, now we're gonna set the face. We're gonna use the Arsimeno color powder. 
popped a little bit in the lid. We're gonna put you down <laughs> so I don't spill you. Back there? Sure. I'm gonna take my brush, just make sure there's no creasing under the eyes. And on my smile lines, I keep forgetting to do that. And I set and I'm like, oh. I'm gonna use my pushy pad just to set underneath the face. Underneath the face? Did I say underneath the face? Underneath the eyes. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take a really fluffy brush and set the entire face, just lightly. You don't have to set the entire face if you don't want to. It's just I have a very, very oily, I have very oily skin, so. Okay, now we're gonna contour. First, we're gonna contour the jawline. I'm gonna take a brush like this. It's like a big, narrow brush. You can see what, I don't know why I try and explain the brushes. You can see. <laughs> take my contour shade, I like to take an eyeshadow. I'm gonna contour into the jaw. Now I'm gonna take a little brush <laughs> into the same color. I'm gonna contour the nose, so I kind of want to copy her nose, but at the same time, I'm not gonna hurt my feelings here deliberately. So we're just gonna put it on the underneath to lift. I want her nose so badly. <laughs> and now we're gonna do a line over the top. I'm not making the line like really thin though, because she's got quite like a like a point to the end of her nose, doesn't she? So I need to make it look like it's swooping. Just round out the end of it. I'm going to take some down the edges. Okay, now I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush and putting it underneath my bottom lip because she has nice pouty lips. I may have gone a bit, a bit too much. <laughs> I'm going to take my poofy pad again and some powder and go down the edges of the nose. Kind of bring it onto the under eye as well. Just to brighten the whole area. I'm going to go with just a little bit of powder, um, this isn't highlight, bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, my little angle brush. I'm just going to put this at the back of the face, just to make sure that we've got the bronze. Okay, for highlight, I'm going to use the Dior palette, and we're just going to take a little bit of the gold one. I'm going to just lightly put it here, and just dust over the entire forehead. Nothing else on the brush, it's just to add a nice sheen, and on the chin. I'm going to quickly dust away the bake. I'm going to take this brush into the gold again. I'm just going to run it slightly over the end of the nose and then up here between the brows on top of the lip. On the chin again, might as well. Oh, this glitter on my face. Okay, now we're going to do our eyebrows. This is the Max Factor Brow Shaper Brow Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. Quickly brush up the brow hairs. Her eyebrows are very natural. So I'm going to barely touch them. I'm going to do a line through the front, just to add a bit of definition. I'm going to brush it up with a spoonie. And that's all we're going to do to keep them looking natural. Okay, the eyes are very natural looking. It's all in the wing. So I'm going to go into the Tartlet Toasted palette. And I'm first going to take the colour Cashmere and Latte. So that one and that one. I'm going to mix them. I'm going to put this all in the crease and above the crease. And up through the front of the brow and onto the sides of the nose contour. And like sort of wing it out, but not like so it's really harsh. Now I'm going to take a different brush and I'm going to go into the colour Warmth, which is kind of like an orangey brown. I'll take too much of it and I'm just going to put it here to deepen up the outer part. Now take a mixture of all three and put it on the outer third of the eye. I'm going to go into the Tartlet in Bloom palette on the same brush that we used just now. I'm going to use the colour Jet Setter, my contour shade. I'm going to add this to the outer part of the crease, just to add some like coolness to it because it was getting a bit warm. Now I'm going to add the colour Smarty Pants and mix it with Charmer just over the lid. Okay now, I'm just going to take the colour Warmth from the Tartlet and Toasted palette and run it on the underneath of the eye. Quite close to the lash line though. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Ring the Alarm palette. Any dark brown will do, but I'm gonna use this one. Oh, I put my finger in it. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna use this one here. It's the color Secret. I'm gonna use a brush like this and tap into it once. And I'm gonna pinch the end. I'm gonna just put it here on the outer part of the lower lash line and kind of connect it to the top and then onto the outer third of the eye here. I'm going to take a brown eyeliner pencil, this one's from e.l.f. and I'm going to put this in the waterline. 
And now we're going to do some liquid eyeliner. So this is the Rimmel London Glam Eyes one in the shade Black Glamour. Okay, I'm going to do a wing and I'm going to explain what I did afterwards because I have no idea what I'm doing yet. With the wing that she does, like it's her eye shape and then it just flicks up like it doesn't like I like to if I was doing it on myself as my like normal eyeliner there'd be like a line across here do you know what I mean but with her does it need to be thicker like do I need to make hang on let me make it a little bit thicker made it a little bit thicker and I'm gonna go do it to the other eye and I'll be right back okay now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara Looks like she's got a little bit of mascara on the outer lashes on the bottom of the eye. I'm just gonna take a spoolie and run it over my bottom lashes just because I don't want the mascara to be too intense. Now I'm gonna stick on some false eyelashes and the ones I'm using are... It's upside down, sorry. It's from this brand, they're from Amazon. And they're like natural half lashes. And the glue I'm using is the Real False Lashes Invisible Lash Glue from Benefit. Whilst I'm waiting for them to dry down a bit before sticking them on, I'm going to do my lips. Pop in a little bit of lip balm, just to help with the process. First I'm going to go in with the lip liner from Obsession in the shade Huck Up. It's just a dark brown. I'm going to use this one to overline my lips. She has very plumped outer parts of the lips on the top and then the cupid's bow is still the shape of a cupid's bow. <laughs> just going to use my finger to blend that out. That's why I like to put lip balm on before, so it's easier to blend it. Now I have this like pinky sort of colour and it's from the, it's from Primark. It's not got a shade name, I'm sorry. I'm just going to use this to fill in the lips. And now I'm going to use this Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. I'm going to use this just to brighten up the centre. I'm going to go stick off I'm going to go stick on the lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Now, just very quickly to the eyes, I'm going to take the Dior palette again. I'm going to mix the gold one and a little bit of the white one on a little white brush. I'm going to put this in the inner corner. And now I'm going to set my face with the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. I'm not going to set the centre of my face, I'm just going to do the out parts. I always hate this part because it's freezing where I am right now, like in my basement. <laughs> so it just attracts the cold to my face. That's a good thing though, isn't it? Your face is supposed to be cold, right? Freezes it. Just gotta wait for this to dry and then we can carry on. This is what we've ended up with. It's a very like elevated everyday kind of look, isn't it? I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'd probably return to this makeup look at some point. Madeline, you've got it on lock. You've got the routine down. We just needed to do a Vogue tutorial, don't we? Has she done a Vogue tutorial? I'll have to double check, but we just needed to do some sort of makeup routine so that we can see just how she accomplishes this flawless look that she has on her face. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world and so much more. And I hope I will see you in the next video.